Hi, Pep. Um, Phil Foden's won the Football Writers uh, Player of the Year award. Do you think that's something that he deserves and how would you assess the season he's had so far? If the writers decide uh, this award, congratulations for the writers and for him. He so played really good this season, many players play really good this season and the writers decide for this award, so what can I say, congratulations. I mean, how do you think Phil has done this year? They are really good, so many times, so the impact in the final third is really good, work ethic. Yeah, it's every, every year due to the amount of games he's playing, the minutes he's playing, he's more mature and he, he understands the game, but... Uh, yeah, we have to continue, still young. Earlier in his career, when he was younger, when you were kind of new here, there were a lot of people questioned the way that you treated him and whether he got enough chances. And you always said, if he sticks with me, he'll be, he'll be fine. We know what we're doing. Is that sometimes difficult when you know how to develop football players, but people from the outside are saying you're not doing it correctly. Is that difficult to do? Well, the, fir the first part of the, of the question, criticism, so he was 70, 80 years old. David Silva was here, Kevin De Bruyne was here, Gundogan was here. So he's playing a team I won uh, a lot of Premier Leagues and final stages in all competitions, so it's not easy to play so demanding that. But I don't know, uh, people, uh, again, thank you so much to give me incredible credit, but it's not about that. So the footballs develop for the amount of minutes they play and learn during the game what happened with his mates, opponents and so on. The work ethic mentality. I, we can, as a manager, suggest something. It depends on the opponents, but belong to them. Belong to them. Look the case from Cole Palmer. What I develop. I didn't give the minutes. If I give the minutes, maybe it should be here or maybe not. And the talent was there, he's there. So, and at the end, depend absolutely, absolutely to the players and, uh, and what they do, what they learn every single game. Hi, Pep. Um, just on, on Phil, how much more improvement is there for him to do? He's had a brilliant season. How much further could he go or improve? Always you can improve. Until you retire, until you die, always you improve. Oh, he was ill or missed the game last week and, and also good. Diaz missed the game. Are they both no. OK? And for Edison as well, is there any okay. news how long he'll be out? Or Looks worse than he feels good. Yes, they were training, he feels good. So he'll, he, he could be back yeah. this weekend. Um, obviously, you've got four, four games in the title race left. Arsenal haven't won it for 20 years. You seem to win it pretty much every year in the last decade. So does that experience and know-how give you, give you an advantage in a race? I like would this? love, but I don't know. I don't have an answer to this question. I would love to think yes, but we have to prove it tomorrow against Wolves and the next games. We know that we have to win, we have to do all 12 points, otherwise it will be difficult because Arsenal is so strong, so consistent, it's difficult going to drop points, but what I said is it depends on us. So it's simple, one game, one more week and after the last week of the season, before the FA Cup final, Three games in a week, once in a time, to win the games. It's not more complicated to analyze. I would like to say, yeah, like we have done in the past, it's going to happen this season. Nobody knows it. Hi, Pep. Sorry to bring you back to Phil Foden again. But what, what do you want to see from him next then? How does he take the next step in your eyes? It depends on him. It's simple as that, I promise you. It depends on him. Mentality, I want to more, I want to do it again, I want to do it again, I want to be better in this department, I will live 24 hours for my game, for my profession. It depends on him, like all the players. He has this, this tag, rightly so, of the academy graduate at Manchester City, but is it time we move past that, or is actually that something to be proud of? About, sorry? He carries the, the academy graduate tag, he is really one of the first players to break into your side here. He's the, he's the model boy for anyone in the academy and no, still carries course, that tag. Of course, for the academy players, see the players that were in the academy and, and making a huge impact with the team is the, the target. But look how many players came from the academy. 
how many is playing here, but how many is in all around the world, in other leagues in, here in England, how many players? Luke Morgan now in Aston Villa was here and many, many players. So the job this academy has done in the last five, six, seven years is unbelievable. Because we are so proud to them. Not all the players academy can play in the first team. It's a question of space. It cannot. But you know, they held them to be better players, human beings, and look what happened. They have all of them are professionals, the long careers will be. So it's so nice. It's really, really good. And finally just a word on Wolves and the work that Gary O'Neill's done this season because I think some Wolves fans were certainly fearing the worst in relegation but actually they've they've got themselves securely in mid-table really good Hi Pep um, how, how was it to have a full week of, of training sessions good days off and good three really good training sessions as always the team always train good but can you can you do more stuff when you have more time and work tactically instead of well, just more, recovering more fresh the mind the tactic had the little details, but uh, at this stage, it's not much to talk about tactics. It's about fresh legs, minds, and ready for a uh, game for tomorrow. And a bit more general question. Uh, do, do you have time to, to, to think of new ideas, new tactical ideas? How do you think of them? Do you take inspiration of others or your staff? Right now, no. Right now, no. Right now is rest of myself and prepare Walls, walls, and after Fulham, Fulham, and no more than that. <laughs> no. uh, hi, Pep. Um, after Aston Villa lost in the first leg of their European tie last night, um, it looks as though we won't have any English teams in the last four in the final of the of the major competitions. Um, Jurgen Klopp said today that he thinks that's down to the schedule in this country that it's much more difficult for teams here to be successful in Europe. I know you've spoken about the schedule before, but do you, is there a direct correlation in your mind too in terms of not having English representatives in the major finals of European competitions because of what of you have reasons, to face? Yeah. I don't know if I mean reason, but I completely agree with Jürgen. It's one of the reasons. Does more have to be done in this country to change that, to allow you to it's have It's not going to success? change. Don't insist with that. It's not going to change. But maybe next season we are three or four English teams in the final stages. But for a long, long time, it's more difficult, yeah. And, and just asking about Erling as well. Uh, obviously, he started on the bench at the weekend, came on, uh, looked a bit more like at his best form. He was aggressive, he stretched the defence. Is he fit to start again this weekend? Yeah. Because and did you, when you saw him come on, did you see a bit of the, the fire back in him that we haven't seen maybe no. in the last few weeks? When, when every, everybody's fit, they have to be ready. I don't know exactly what they're going to do tomorrow. Have a, of course, I know, not have a little doubts for one or two players in the lineup, but the rest, uh, the, the game plan, and what I want to do, I had time to think, to think about it and see the games, the last games uh, from from Wolves and and yeah, but he's ready. Yeah. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker, TalkSport.